Once the Vatican responded to the Irish government about its allegations on cases of sex abuse, Archbishop Celso Morga, who is the secretary of the Congregation for the Clergy, says that Dublin didn't quite understand the position of the Vatican congregation. I think the Irish government had an appreciation of the performance of the Congregation for the Clergy that was not entirely correct. The Holy See says it never obstructed investigations by the Irish government. Rather, it says it reminded bishops that in the framework to fight abuse, one should take into account canon law. The letter of the Congregation for the Clergy, our 1997 letter, didn't want for anything to prevent the putting into practice of those rules that were given to the Irish bishops. As the so-called number two of the Vatican ministry that deals with more than 400,000 Catholic priests, Morga reminded the bishops that they must collaborate with civil authorities in full compliance with the laws of each country as well as canon law. The bishop is obliged to respect the civil law so that if the particular state has a law that forces you to bring any documentation on this case to the civil courts, the bishop should then assist in this matter. He should put before civil justice everything that he knows, while always remembering that these two are separate legal systems. If the formation and education of priests is serious, strong and grounded in faith, Archbishop Morga believes the church can overcome this painful chapter.